On Tuesday, the Black Diamond Pool in Yellowstone National Park violently erupted. The force of the eruption sent rocks hundreds of feet into the air and destroyed the boardwalk that dozens of people had been standing on when it blew. The Biscuit Basin Boardwalk remains closed to visitors while geologists and National Park Service teams assess the damage and current behavior of Black Diamond Pool. Hydrothermal explosion and did not involve the volcanic system at all. Mike Poland, scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Cowboy State Daily. This kind of activity happens a couple of times a year, on average, somewhere in Yellowstone and can happen in any geyser basin in the park. Hydrothermal explosions occur when water transitions into steam. Poland explained that the force of the Black Diamond Pool was caused by the volumetric, not volcanic, expansion of the water molecules during the transition. When water turns to steam, it expands over 1,000 times, he said. When that happens in a confined space, the space can't hold the rapid expansion of steam and can cause explosions. These water flashes happen constantly in Yellowstone. It's the primary force behind the eruptions of geysers like Old Faithful and Steamboat. According to Poland, the difference between a typical Old Faithful eruption and the violent eruption of Black Diamond Pool is the underground plumbing system feeding the thermal features. Geysers have a well-worn conduit system that allows them to erupt.